this is moving by itself. That's great. What's up guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming the Instagram baddie kind of makeup tutorial look thing. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna be filming today so yeah we're just gonna get straight into it also I know that some people in their Instagram photos wear contact lenses for fashion and stuff um you could definitely do that if you want to uh but literally I have to wear these otherwise I will not be able to see so yeah these ones are blue they're fresh look contact lenses if you guys want to know but yeah let's get into this video I've already prepped and primed my face, so I'm just going to go straight in with some foundation or maybe concealer. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my eyeliner because I always waterline my... What? I always line my waterline um, before I do anything else, just so it doesn't like ruin my under eyes or anything like that. So yeah. The eyeliner that I use, by the way, is the Rimmel London Soft Coal Eyeliner. Looks like this. My camera's not going to focus, but yeah, it's one of my favorite eyeliners ever. I'm going to just take a little bit of concealer from this cheap Kmart palette, Kmart, from this cheap eBay palette, and I'm just going to take a little bit to cover this over here. I know it's like super light, but I'm just taking whichever color, to be honest. I just want to cover it a little bit more before I pull foundation on, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna take my Revlon Color Save Foundation and put this all over my face. Okay, so you really want a full coverage foundation for this Instagram baddie look, just because that is what helps you kind of look flawless and everything, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm just going to pat this in. Okay, so we've got our foundation on. I'm going to go in with some concealer. I've got the Kat Von D Locket Concealers here. I've got the shade L11 Neutral. This is a little sample and it's a little bit too light for me. And I've also got the shade Medium 19 Cool, which is this one here. You can see the difference. I mean, one is like literal white, kind of. I mean, you can't even really tell the difference, but I'm going to mix the two together. And straight after I blended that out, I'm going to take my Essence Stay All Day Translucent Fixing Powder, Setting Powder. And I'm just going to put some of that under my eyes just so that I can set it in place. And I'm probably going to leave it on so I can bake a little bit too. I don't like to put too much on because I just don't. I don't know why. I like to bring my concealer all the way out. And then I like to use the rest of whatever's on my brush to put it on my eyelids just to get that ready. Um, but I also like to bring it all the way down to here too, which is completely fine because I'm going to cover it with bronzer anyway. So yeah, that's what I do. We've got our face baking. I'm just going to take a little bit more concealer just for the middle part of my nose, down my nose, and then just a little bit here. I'm literally using the leftover what was on my brush because we don't need much. So after that, I'm going to go in with my Models Prefer Contour Collection Contouring Stick. Um, I just got this from Priceline Sign, and I'm just going to use a little bit of that. I'm going to take a tiny bit of it onto my brush and do my nose contour with this and then I'm going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and go over what I just did I'm going to take the Balm's Hot Mama Blush and just apply that 
onto my cheeks. I also like to incorporate that into my bronzer. I don't know why, um, but I do. I just realized that I forgot to set my face like my, like my foundation. Um, so when I do set my face, which is every other time, but I forgot, I use the Astralis Flesh, Flesh, Fresh and Flawless Powder. So, yeah. We are going to go in with the ColourPop Highlighter Shade in Hippo. And it's more of like a purpley shade, but I'm just going to use this a little bit on my nose just so that I can, when I do put the actual highlight on, it kind of sticks to it because this is more like a liquidy um, kind of highlight. Like it's not liquid, but it's like not powder. Like I don't know what it is. And then I'm going to take the Balm's Mary Luminizer Highlighter and use this on top of what I just did. <laughs> okay, that is the face done. Moving on to eyebrows. I like to use the Eyelure Brow Palette. This one is Brow Trio in Dark Brown. And I like to use this on my eyebrows because it gives a more like intense and darker look which is definitely an instagram baddie brow you want them to look cut and like slaying you know so this is the type of brush that i like to use just a little kind of angled brush and i go in with this one here which is the waxy kind of one and i just draw in my eyebrows i want it to be super cut you know super cut you can make your brows thicker too if you prefer i know that a lot of instagram eyebrows are pretty thick and pretty dark as well so yeah i like to get my basic shape on both and then i go in with powders and stuff like that i'm literally shaking like i feel like i'm 50 what i'm shaking okay so now i'm gonna take in the powder and just fill in the spots that i think I need filling in. That made no sense, but you know what I mean, guys. You know what I mean, guys. As you guys can see, it's a hella dark brow, but it is also a hella lit brow, and I'm loving it. I'm living for it. So I just did my eyebrows, and it literally took me so bloody long to do, but I'm going to take a bit of my foundation and just go around the edges just to like, you know, cut them a little bit more um, because we want them as dead straight as we possibly can get them. Um, this also helps to conceal any like eyebrow hairs that you have just laying about, you know? The ones that just don't care and just wanna chill, you wanna conceal those with this because you don't wanna see them. Like they're just chilling. They don't wanna be seen either, so you got to conceal, you know? Okay, so after our brows are slaying to the gods, we want to go in and do our eye makeup. So, starting on the eye makeup, I'm taking my Zoeva Cocoa Blend Palette. This palette, can we talk about it? Can we talk about it? It's so pretty, right? Ah, oh, I can't. And then you open it, and it's extra pretty. Like, what the girl? <laughs> Girl, it's so pretty. I love it. Anyways, I'm going to take this shade right here, which is Freshly Toasted. Actually, no. I'm going to take this color here, which is Substitute for Love. And I'm going to just take that in the crease and use it as a transition sh shade. We got our um, transition... We've got our transition... I cannot say that word today. Transition shade on. And I'm going to go in with that color now, the freshly toasted color, just a little bit and kind of just blend that out into the crease. And I'm just going to take some of this shade here, which is Sweeter End. And I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone. Girl! I'm probably like the most annoying person, like honestly. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Line Definer. This is a really old eyeliner and I probably shouldn't be using it, but it is like the most easiest. 
and just do a small kind of wing. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I'm not good at wings um, at all. So I'm just going to, you know, bring the mirror like right here. Anyone else's lashes get in the way when they're like doing eyeliner? Okay, I'm back. I did the wing slightly off camera. I had to fix it and they still are not even as you guys can see. Um, I know that if I go in now, I'm probably going to stuff it up even more. Yeah, probably did. Anyway, okay, so for my lashes, I don't actually have um, good fake lashes. I don't really wear fake lashes. So I'm just going to put on some Rimmel Extra Super Lash Mascara. And yeah. Wow, there is a lot on there. So that is the eyes. And then for the lips, I've got three products here. I'm going to first go in with MAC. Max, Max Bittersweet um, lip pencil and just line my lips. I think for Instagram baddie um, lips, I would either go a nude or a dark color, like a red or a dark purple or something. I just feel like it adds to the baddie look. Today I'm going to do like a mix of dark slash nude. So. Okay, so I colored in some of the sides and I'm just going to go in with Max Velvet Teddy and go kind of in the middle and then blend it in with what I did with the lip liner. Sort of like that. And then I'm going to go in with Too Faced Melted Chocolate um, Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the shade Chocolate Honey. And the last step is to set the face. I'm going to use the Mario Badescu um, uh, <laughs> Rose Water Spray. And I'm going to just spray this all over my face and then we're done. So that is it for this Instagram baddie makeup tutorial, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below to see more videos from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Maybe they left them with these, my